Hello out to everybody in YouTube land. This is Andre the Game I Dig Guy. Uh, as you know me, uh, my name is Andre Ratchford. Um, today, September 7th, 2017, 13 years ago, I started a relationship with the love of my life, the woman I know I want to be with forever. And the woman I knew back then that I wanted to be with and I wanted to have a family with. Even though at the time <laughs> I was only like 17. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, let's just put it this way. I knew right away I couldn't be without her. It... I've made some slip-ups. I've had issues. And there are things that I know I can't make up for. But this is a person who my whole heart belongs to. Someone I'd do anything for. I can remember when we first met and how nervous I was and how happy I was at the same time to be able to see her, to be with her, to spend time with her. And that's something I can't let go. Like she's that important to me. She's that big of a part of my life. And she'll always be that big of a part of my life. Whether or not she actually wants to be with me, she'll always be that important to me. And and I knew this at a, at a young age. I once when I met her, I knew that I found who I wanted to be with. It, it's an odd feeling for someone who's a teenager to go through. And at the time, I had a lot of other things going on in my mind, so I did make some bad choices back then that I can't make up for that I regret. But I, I knew, no matter what, I knew that's who I wanted to be with. I knew that was the mother of my children. I even told her that. I told her that the, the day we met. I told her that. And it, it, it sounds creepy coming from me, but I told her that. I knew she's who I wanted to be with. And my world without her... It feels empty. It, it would feel very empty without her. And, and I know I'm pouring my heart out and you guys are not used to me doing this. It's one of those things. This is, for me, this is 1013. This is us. We've, and I'm not meaning the date 1013. 13 years together, 10 years married. Like, that's a long relationship now. That's nearly impossible now for a lot of people. And I'm ready for 2030 and 3033 and 4043 and 5053 and everything beyond that. I'm ready for those things. I, I want to look to the future and go forward making her happy being happy with us to us together with our family with our kids and that's what I'm going to do like it, it might sound odd but if I'm going to argue with anybody I'd rather argue with her if I'm going to fight with anybody I'd rather fight with her if I if I the chance to love anyone, I want to love her. If I have the opportunity to give my life for anybody, I'd give it for her. That's how deeply this goes. And, and much, much further, farther beyond that. In ways I can't describe because there are no words adequate for the feeling I have for her. 
like you guys here on YouTube, you know me as this weird happy-go-lucky dude that sometimes has rants. You don't really get to hear the emotional side of me. And for me, this is important that I do this for her and for her to know. Because once this video drops, I'm going to text it to her so that, she's, that she can listen into it. But I love you, Trina. And I'm always going to love you. I'm always going to want to be with you. No matter what we go through, I'm always, always, my heart's connected to you. I've told you before, you're my home. You're my happiness. You're my everything. You and our kids. And no matter what goes on, no matter what we go through, whether we are physically together or not, those words will always remain true. There's not much more I can say. It's just... There are a lot of things that happened both in the past and recently that especially recently that just woke me up that I had to put this out there. She's always home base for me. Always. Nothing, no one else, nothing else, her. She's it. Like, because I've thought I've had love before. And I may have, but it wasn't the same type of love. It wasn't the same depth of love. It wasn't as powerful. It wasn't as meaningful. And I'm happy that it survived for so long. And I'm happy to see it survive into the future. And I'm happy to share everything the rest of my life with you. Everything. And I promise to be quite a bit more open and speak more and talk more. Because what you guys might not know, because I'm a loud mouth on YouTube, but... I, for a long time, I was closed off to a lot of people, and I did close myself off to my wife, not intentionally, but in my head space, I thought I was doing the right thing by not telling everybody everything, by not putting my emotions out there, by not sharing of myself, and it caused issues, it caused massive issues, and I think we've made the leap past that. And I want to keep going forward. Keep looking forward. Remembering the past, but still moving forward. So. Like I said, I can't fully put the words together. It's just the thoughts that are in my head as of this moment. She's important to me. She will always be important to me. She is the better half of me. Where I'm not something or where I'm weak, she's strong. Or she is there in that, that position. She's that category. She's the other side to my coin. She's my other puzzle piece. I love her. I'm always going to love her. Like I said, I when I fell for her, I fell deep. <laughs> and I, it, again, at 17, I didn't know how to handle that. I really didn't. I, you find someone and you fall in love with them that deeply, that fast, it's hard to process. But I knew... That that was what it was. And I'll forever remember the day that we sat outside the movie theater while 
your friend and her boyfriend went in and we just sat out and talked and we spent time just with each other yeah we okay there was some touchy feely for everybody who's curious there was touchy feely we kissed but there was a moment where we were just sitting on the bench together at not bench fence together and we both fell back and I caught her and myself and the thing that went through my mind is I always want to be able to catch her she falls I want to be there to catch her I never want her to hit the ground And I'm not usually an emotional person. <laughs> but for her, my emotions can be opened up anytime. They should be. And they're going to be. And I know this is just me rambling, but again, I'm rambling about the person I love the most, the person that. I don't feel like I could be happy without. Like, yeah, I could I could find false happiness. I know I could find a false happiness, but I, I could never find a fulfilling happiness with anyone else. So, baby, I love you. Happy anniversary. Happy 1310. Let's go for 2013. Uh, 1310. That's 1013. Shit. <laughs> Happy 1013. Let's go to 2013, 23. Fuck, I'm fucking this up. I'm sorry, people. It's just scatterbrain right now. <laughs> Happy, t again, I'm going to try this one more time. Happy 1013. I'm looking forward to 2013. Fuck! I did it again! <laughs> oh, huh. See how, how much she affects me? That's how much I care about her. I can't even think straight. <laughs> happy, mm -hmm. happy, ten thirteen. Looking forward to twenty twenty three and beyond that. You're my all, my home, my love, my happiness, my everything. I love you.